Mark the back. Hey there, true believers. This is JAR369. And welcome back for another brand new video review. And happy Flashback Friday. Today I'll be taking a look at the X Men X Force Domino by Toy Biz. Now, take a look at the packaging here. On the top, you get the X Men X Force logo, Marvel Comics. And you get the image of Cable here. And also, there's a sticker price here still on it. I got this for at Puzzle Zoo for four ninety seven, four bucks and ninety seven cents. That's not bad. I mean, if you see my Instagram post, you probably know. And also on the top here, it is recommended for ages five and up. You get the window of the figure that exposes the, the figure and the accessories: Domino, Toy Biz, Twin Weapon Arsenal, Warning Joking Hazard. <coughs> And on the back here, there's a read-up bio about the character. It says, you might call it luck, but things seem to have a way of always falling into place for X-Force's second-in-command. The lovely and dangerous Domino, a master strategist, compact fighter, par ex... Yeah, I cannot pronounce that word. An expert marksman, Domino is a woman who always plays to win. Wow. And also you get other, you get the instructions, how does uh, this um, machine works. And also other figures from the top I just don't know. Because I never read the comics. Nor these guys, except one familiar face right here. And we got other characters I do know. Because hey, I watched the movies. Like Beast, Magneto, Storm, Wolverine in his classic comic book uh, suit. Gambit, Cyclops, and also other figures from X Force. No idea who the third, the three people are, except those four people like Cable, Domino, of course, where you're looking at Deadpool, and of course the Blob. <laughs> Don't call him the Blob. And also you got the X Men Sentinel holding Bishop here. So that's about it for the um. The packaging now let's release Domino the girl with luck out of the box. Here we got Domino out of the box. Now I'll take a look at the figure here. Let's look at the head sculpt here. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. The head sculpt on the um the figure, I think it looks pretty good. You can see like the her birthmark here. You know, the the black birthmark there. I mean, she is wearing the tiara on around her face. And also, you get the, uh, the little hair that is molded in. Now, take a look at the outfit here. You can see some of the straps on the outfit here. You can see the little X logo here. The X-Men logo or X-Force logo. The arms. You get like one of those things here. The other arms there, and also you get the gloves are basically glossy paint, including the black hair. Uh, the bottom waist here, nothing much. You get the belt, the belts here with all the some weapons or anything. And also you can see the little strap here on the leg where her holster is, and on the boots here, nothing much on the boots. But you can see some peg peg holes for the for the accessories, and also on the bottom there's peg holes in the bottom feet with legal crap. I mean, for the figure from like the 90s or 80s, I think the figure look itself looks okay. Not bad figure, looks okay. Articulations, her there's no head rotation because it's because this thing is just a molded piece. There's arms articulated. Go for and back, elbows can rotate, waist can rotate, and legs going forward and back, been at the knee, and that's about it. Now for accessories, Domino came with two of these up, oh, came with two of these weapons here. They they can hold both of them really good, each of her hands. Let's uh, put this arm here. And the other one here. There you go. Oh. 
You can see my the knees are a bit loose, so I'm gonna fix that with um, super glue. Uh, yeah, definitely need super glue. And also these blasters here does does um uh connect to this one here. There we go. And also she does come with two missiles. They're basically exactly the same. You can put one on her leg here. Mm -hmm. Nope. There we go. You go, or you can put them on the um, the rocket launcher. Let's say here you hold it on and let it fire. There we go. There she is. She fall down. Definitely need to put super glue on the knees. And it does fit on this one here peg easily. Now you hold this thing and put it on her hand. And there you go. I mean it's a bit heavy because of the uh, this weapon that she's carry. Or maybe because I have a loose joints on the legs. I'm probably going to fix that with Super glue and moving on for a minute. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, overall, I say the figure looks okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the worst. It just looks okay. I mean, for four bucks, not that bad. I mean, the figure itself looks okay. I mean, it looks really good. I think it looks okay. So my rate on this figure, I'm going to give her 5 out of 10. So what do you think of this figure? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of the links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is JAR369 and goodbye. Bye.